the joy of every farmer is to see a calf especially daily farmers is to see a calf that uh, his herd or his cow or her cow has delivered or has given birth so in calving i'm going to discuss today about the three stages of calving calving is considered to occur in three stages or three phases the more we understand the physio the physiology of the uh, calving process will help us to make sound judgment whether to assist the cow to calve or not so stage number one it is called the dilation of the cervix it is usually tightly the, the the cervix is usually tightly closed up until cervical plug starts to dissolve or is completely dissolved this process begins 2 to 24 hours before completion of the parturition uh, uh, takes place at this point prostrogen block is not there hence the uterine muscles become more sensitive to all factors that increase the rate and strength of rhythmic construction contractions so uh, when you know uh, between 2 to 24 hours there is a the, the prostrogen level it becomes falls back to zero so here during this phase there is a rapid contraction of the muscles of the uterine muscles so this process takes place at this time it is usually a not state stage though you can observe some behavioral uh, changes like discomfort of the animal the animal goes to isolate itself from the rest of the herd there is uh, little feed intake so those are some of the things that you can notice there is a checkpoint that farmers should uh, should always uh, note this isolation period then now we move to stage two it is also called the delivery stage this begins with the entrance of the membrane um, the, uh, the entrance of the membrane or the water bag into the peripheric uh, into the peripheric canal and there once it has entered it there then uh, there is uh, the bag the water bag comes out of the vulva so this is actually the actual delivery process and this is where most of the activities takes place once you see this water bag most farmers panic and even they want to assist the cow immediately it has shown the water bag but the real thing is you should leave the animal to push struggle for by itself until the elapse of uh, around uh, until it can no, it cannot uh, push itself through that is when you come in and assist and this text uh, and you you are supposed to assist an, the animal if it has not delivered uh, after two hours from the time it has shown the heat signs so <clears throat> here uh, the animal can push by itself and uh, the whole process is completed or it uh, can be helped number uh, and, uh, one thing that help uh, leads to the cow being helped to deliver is either it has dystopia or the calf is dead be there when it's dead we we, we carry out phytotomy i'll discuss later in the in, in other videos uh, the process of phytotomy and then uh, or the calf is too big and the animal is is too weak to push so that is when you present in this talk actually you you make the animal the calf to be in the right position head and four limbs first and then you pull also in this talk you can have the back the the, the, the hind limbs coming first but they the tail the, the tail should be between the four the, the, the hind limbs when it is the, the anterior presentation so and then you pull carefully uh, so that you cannot you avoid rupturing of the uh, the muscles the vulva muscles the peripheral you, you avoid injuring the animal you pull nicely that is after two hours then now the third phase is uh, it's called shedding of the placenta 
or the membranes. This occurs, this is supposed to occur, this process is supposed to be finished between 8 to 12 hours after parturition or after, after uh, 12 to 8 hours after, um, after what? Uh, 12 to 8 hours after it has uh, calved down. Now, after the 12 hours have elapsed, we consider the membranes of the, the placenta as retained and it is supposed to be unbuttoned. And here, you have to ask, as a farmer, you have to ask for the services of a veterinarian so that you can avoid uh, injuring the animal so it's very very important farmers i really look forward to interacting with you more giving you bit by bit of the basic information that you're supposed to get and we move forward we ensure that we have enough milk we have enough food we are sustainable in our country thank you and let's keep up the game